there are certain games that players always circle on the schedule. A lot of times it has to do with a specific team they're playing. In this case, it's playing here in Lake Tahoe and outdoors. The Golden Knights are just one of six teams in the National Hockey League who have yet to play an outdoor game. Obviously, that changes on Saturday. But when you look at who's left on the list, Stanley Cup championship franchises such as Carolina and Tampa Bay, you understand that picking the Golden Knights to play in this venue was no accident. <laughs> How quickly this city's built into a hockey town, um, it doesn't surprise me. You know, I, I don't think I've ever seen a franchise become, hey, become a powerhouse like we have, you know, the, the first year. You, you drive around the city, all you see is Golden Knights stuff. It's really become a, a hockey and a sports city. I, you know, I, I think it basically is, is the NHL saying that uh, Vegas has arrived on, on the national scene, uh, you know, as a team that people want to see. Since they arrived on the scene in 2017, only five teams had more regular season wins than the Golden Knights entering their fourth year in the league. But the players say it takes more than wins and losses to be part of such a special spectacle as an outdoor classic. The fans here are absolutely unbelievable. Um, they're, they're unbelievable even when they're not able to be in the stands uh, right now. You know, the, the support that we get uh, from them is, is awesome. And, and for the league to recognize that and give something back and, and give the opportunity for us to have a you know a marquee game in, in the state of Nevada outside. I mean that's that's pretty cool, and you know they certainly deserve it. Playing against the, the team for one season, um, and basically putting the number one on my list of where I wanted to play. Um, I don't think that uh, is an easy thing, um, but they've created a culture here, uh, a winning culture, uh, a team that wants to win, and a team that wants to do uh, great things for their city and. Uh, this is just uh, something that they can tip their cap to. Putting a hockey team in the desert was no doubt a game changer in the National Hockey League. But little did they know that the team from Vegas would change the game, how it looks, how it's played, both on and off the ice. Night time! We talk about how this franchise is so young. However, I feel this franchise is so deserving. They've come into the league and done everything to help grow the game, not just in Las Vegas, but everywhere. I mean, what other is wearing chrome gold helmets and people aren't afraid here to make uh, bold decisions and I think that's been so beneficial for myself as a player because it's so different from what I'm used to. This franchise deserves it. I think this is going to be uh, probably the most unique outdoor game to date and uh, yeah I just hope everything uh, goes as planned and hopefully we get the win. Now, when the Golden Knights and Colorado Avalanche drop the puck on Saturday, it will be the 32nd outdoor game in NHL history. The first, many will remember, Caesars Palace back in 1991. So, Kev, nearly 30 years later and 455 miles north, Nevada is once again commanding the hockey world. And we're here to give you a front row seat to all the action. We'll be out here live tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. Going to take you all through the day on Friday. And then, of course, complete coverage on Saturday night on Sports Plus of this winter classic with the Golden Knights making a little bit of history. From the south shores of Lake Tahoe, for Vince Sapienza, I'm Kevin Bolliner. Let's send it back to you in the studio.